For the very first tip, I want to share a key component to approaching a conversation. When choosing to give advice, spiritual advice, or when you verbally discipline a youth or a subordinate. We all have dealt with someone whose actions and way of thinking is clearly wrong. They might be acting out on purpose or due to lack of understanding. As a leader, you're a problem solver. You think of solutions that will best help the team, the ministry, or the group in a whole. I don't know you personally, but in most cases, you are older than the people that you're leading, and you definitely have more years of experience and knowledge. Before the conversation began, you probably already knew what that person was going to say, but because you're a good leader, you still allow them to express their side of the story, explaining what they did. As they talk, you think of a great story of a time when you went through a similar situation and you're prepared to give them life-changing advice. You lay out a sequence of instructions to help their behavior. And if they simply follow those instructions and directions, then everything will be okay. Days, weeks, maybe even months might pass and you think the situation is resolved because the problem hasn't happened again until it happens again. Once again, you know the problem, you know you have the solution, and you lay out what they have to do. From your point of view, it's very simple. Two plus two equals four. But when they do the math, they end up with the wrong answer. So what's the problem? Now the following advice may not be true for everyone, but I've seen quite a few people in church get this wrong. The first problem is we are giving great directions, but we aren't understanding the individual first. When you learn and understand where someone is coming from, then you can better help them get where they're going. Think of it like this. You moved into a new home and you invite your friends over. You have two friends who live in two different parts of town. So you give them both the same perfect great directions. The only problem is that one of your friends won't make it there. The same directions won't work for both friends because they're starting in different places in life. When I start a conversation and I know it will require me to give spiritual advice or life advice, then here are the steps that I take. First, pray. Ask God for guidance and what to say, what to do, when to say it, what, how to say it, just all that stuff. You know, I really need God's guidance. Number two, listen and understand their point of view. Understand why they thought that the previous way of doing things was acceptable. Number three, I convey back to them what they have told me so they know I understand their point of view. If they say, no, you don't understand, then I ask more questions. Young people both want to feel mysterious and misunderstood while simultaneously desiring people to understand their emotions and their intent. Don't rush this step just to get to the part where you get to give your advice. Taking your time at this step helps to build a stronger level of communication later on. At this level, some people shut down and feel frustrated because they are misunderstood. That's because they are still learning to convey their thoughts. This can also be true for adults, so please keep that in mind. When they finally say, you understand, you got it, whatever the case might be, then you can move on to number four. So number four, with love and compassion, I express my point of view. I show them where they went wrong, and if they want to do better, then to follow these instructions so that they can do better the next time. Now, there is probably someone who says, duh, Ray, I've been doing this for 20 years. I already know that. Well, the next problem that we sometimes face as leaders of youth or even leaders of adults is that teaching someone to improve takes repeated lessons. Sometimes we forget that people learn at different paces or different rates. If you are committed to seeing someone grow, then understand that it might take longer than you expected. So please learn to be patient with people because we're all growing at different rates. Now, if you're trying to win a bet, 
then forceful memorization every day plus daily cues and triggers will help somebody remember a lot faster. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I mean, it could still work. Anyways, good luck. I hope this gave you something to think about. Of course, people always say like and subscribe. And yes, I would like you to do that. But if you found this information helpful, then I would like you to share this directly with someone else who can benefit from it. Maybe your friend is a leader in another church, or maybe you're a pastor and your youth ministry leader or the leadership team at your church can benefit from this information. So by sending this directly to another individual, you're letting them know personally you support their growth.